Hey, what's up guys? How's it going, y'all? Thank you so much for clicking the video. I'm Aris, and welcome back to another Clash Royale video, and today we can have the best deck for the Ramp Up Challenge. Now, if you don't know, the Ramp Up is all about elixir gain as the time comes by. So, for the uh, first minute you're actually playing, you're actually going to get one elixir itself, and as it climbs up, you're actually going to get two elixir, and for the third minute, you're actually going to get the three elixir. So, for the third minute, it's definitely going to be a bit, bit of a pressure. You're going to get some fucking on ass troops coming towards your way so you definitely need to make sure that you're actually taking down that tower in the second minute and in the third minute you pretty much want to defend or if the opponent is pretty weak you can probably go ahead and actually do the attack itself so as you can see here the reward system is pretty bad it's not that great it just get around 10,000 gold but it's just for nine wins and it's really cool so i'll just go ahead and show you my deck up in here and the deck over here is what i've got so of course we have the giant the musketeer the fireball the uh royal ghost i got the royal ghost from the magical chest he's super super cool beast out in there if you're uh if you're uh, gonna get this guy you're definitely gonna have a wonderful time it's not that great against the ladder but then for challenges he's definitely gonna come in handy and we have the mega minion the uh, uh what is that the furnace the ice fire spirit sorry and then we have the balloon itself so two big tanks here two big win conditions you leave these two guys all alone you definitely get it oh my goodness three how can i fucking leave the royal ghost he is really cool so let me just get into the replays right away Okay, so uh, we have Salty, whom I'm actually gonna attack, and it's, uh, hopefully it was a pretty good fight, and we have the Fireball for the three Musketeers, that's a big pain in the padded ass, it's definitely gonna be a big pain for him when he comes across me actually using the, uh, what is that, the Fireball against his, uh, three Musketeers, are actually gonna get, uh, spend in nine Elixir, now I'm just gonna finish that off with the full Elixir, this is definitely gonna burn your ass, that's for sure, so, uh, my Elixir bar is actually filling out like that, so I'm gonna drop in my Furnace, and the Furnace is definitely gonna do some damage there, really good, and the P.E.K.K.A. isn't a big problem, we have the, uh, uh what is that, the Musketeer actually does really great damage, the Furnace, uh, Fire Spirits are actually coming out, and they're doing pretty cool as well, and I also have the Royal Ghost, now if you don't have the Royal Ghost, uh, maybe the knight will actually do it, the knight is really cool as well, but then you're definitely gonna miss that uh, uh, invisible ability he's got, maybe the knight will be the best guy out in there for just 3 elixir, you're definitely gonna get that, or maybe use the bandit if you have one, the bandit again is really cool over here again, she does some 300 damage and it's gonna be really huge for him, so again see the fireball coming in, one literally dead, the two remaining, and they're pretty much almost down and they just died so it's really unfortunate for this guy so we just have one minute 40 seconds you're again going to defend this so the first minute you probably don't want to show your uh, full attack you just want to defend here and make sure that you're on the safer side make sure that a lot of hit points are not being taken out and don't make sure that you well up and first we have salty well that's a really cool name to be honest salty and uh we have the royal ghost now if you don't have the royal ghost you can probably put in the knight the knight again is really cool, but then the oh my goodness, I just cannot say this enough. The ghost is a ghost all by himself. You definitely interfere against him, or you're dead. To be honest, you just see the amount of damage he's actually doing. It also does area splash, and that's a real big factor that I like about him. Oh my goodness, we just got that tower to 1,300. Now from uh, 2,500, how great is that? But just the royal giant, I mean royal ghost. All by himself. That's really cool. Now this guy has the uh, three musketeer, and it's really bad for him because I do have the fireball. The biggest uh, problem for him is going to be a pain in the padded ass because uh, he's going to spend in nine elixir. I'm just going to spend in four elixir. How much positive elixir gain is that? That's just massive. Again, goes going in for the kill. This guy's going to defend it. Maybe with the Valkyrie. Yes, he does. Uh, so well, it's not working really great up in here now. The fact that he had Valkyrie, so that's really unfortunate. Now, so we're actually gonna go put in the Furnace again because the Furnace is again going to do some damage out in there. The Fire Spirits are really cool. You just see one shot and one shot, and they pretty much didn't take anything out of that tower. Just four, uh, four elixir spent. We pretty much got so much out of it. That was really nice. So we're gonna put gonna put in the Mega Minion. Mega Minion mines level five. That's really bad. Now. 
up in these challenges the first few attacks will be with the uh, good guys but then after that you're definitely gonna find some hot ass players they're definitely gonna rip your ass off so uh, if you don't have good amount of uh, uh, good level troops out on there you're definitely gonna face some hard times so again we're going in for the balloon this guy is coming up with musketeers so we don't have the fireball in cycle that's really bad but then again, the dead damage from the balloon is going to do some uh, damage out in there. And the first musketeer is almost dead. One shot from our uh, crown tower. It's going to do a lot. And the furnace again, you can just see the amount of damage it actually does. The furnace again, if you have it around level 8, and I probably say it's the best for card for you. You definitely want that. So the giant here is literally fucking pushing my musketeer. So the fucking musketeer is down. Uh, it's really sad. Well, I know. The musketeer is down. So we're going to again put in the uh what is that the f uh, pot in here the uh furnace and the furnace literally is going to go down how many fucking times did it actually say literally and that's just pissing me off right now and we're just gonna fireball this and it's just gonna kill all of them down uh, we're gonna actually again put in oh shit the fire spirit actually going go gone for a toss there it's not worth in there and this guy is gonna come up with a pekka that's really good so we're just gonna finish off this battle with just fireballs we're just gonna defend and then put in fireballs and it's really gonna work out really well for us so oh my goodness there's so many minions out in there that was really big trouble for us we definitely need to deal them out out of our way and again it's gonna come down to 342 oh my goodness the fireballs are a real big problem you guys because they don't actually take much damage as what the six elixir rocket actually does and that's really sad uh, because oh my goodness you actually have to get one more shot just see what's gonna happen I should have actually pushed that uh, what is that the uh, uh, fireball actually near the musketeer and all that stuff but then we just have 176 fucking hit points how annoying is that we're actually gonna put this off and hopefully it's finished no it isn't just 10 more hit points and how bad is that but the royal zone actually takes it a fucking royal ghost bitch oh uh, my goodness the royal ghost actually takes that down so we actually got the victory that was really close so up in the here we have Ninelos and uh, we're again gonna to start off oh this guy has a fireball as well and this is really bad from this guy you can actually see this guy is gonna get the heal spell and to be honest heal spell oh my goodness I just hate the heal spell and I just love the royal ghost oh my goodness uh, I just can't believe what the reactions would be from this guy when he actually saw the royal ghost I would have been like, oh my goodness, and that's really good because the Royal Ghost, oh my goodness, he's one card that's just three elixir and he's just gonna piss your box. <laughs> he's just gonna kick your ass for just three elixir. How cool is that? So, you're definitely gonna get a pain in the pad of that, that's definitely there. But then the Ghost uh, uh, is really good. <laughs> oh my goodness. How many times did I say the ghost is really good? And in fact, he is. So that's the reason why I'm actually saying that. So we have 8 elixir. And I'm just gonna fireball that shit and kill that down. So, so this guy doesn't have anything except for the 3 musketeers. So if I'm going in for the push, he has to put in the 3 musketeer. And he is. 10 elixir completely full there. We're just gonna put the fireball. And oh my goodness, this guy is level 7. That's really nice. Now it's a good card to bring in and there's so much value he actually puts in the uh what is that oh my goodness oh my goodness did you just see that <laughs> did you just see that this guy actually put in the heal spell then the musketeers were almost dead oh my goodness that's really sad for him well the ghost being pushed off over there but then we actually are going to put in the balloon and the musketeer again this one more minute and a 20 seconds we're actually gonna fireball that because this guy is actually getting some pretty good elixir and the first elixir pump is down we have the second one down there almost to be pretty honest uh, and again this guy is healing it up and the heal spell is really working out very well just a bit of advantage than actually what you actually get from there and we're actually gonna put in the fire spirit and just see what the fire spirit actually did we just killed all these guys and how amazing is that for a two elixir card like holy shit man fuck that that guy has a level 7 rare card the musketeer and it just pissed him off with just a two elixir level 9 now uh, what is that the fucking shit uh the uh uh fire spirits like shit you gotta be kidding me how fucking awesome that is a level 2 card i mean uh two elixir card just doing the job for you how awesome is that so we're again in trouble right now we're actually gonna put in that fireball down this guy pretty much didn't start over the uh, push yet 
that's really sad. They have the ghost again going in in invisible. We have 15 more seconds. We're actually going to defend at this. Uh, we we're actually putting in the uh, furnace pot out in there. Then oh my goodness, all of them there pretty much surviving. We're actually going to put that fireball right in there. We just take down the second tower. Then in no time, he's just gonna actually get that second tower. Even the first tower, really unfortunate. The furnace actually doing the job for us. So again, a two-star victory right over here. So up in for another replay up in here. So May Ely, oh, uh, is uh, whom we're actually going to defend against. So uh, this guy is level 8 and that's really nice. I love to see low level players and now I actually see from the higher level. I actually hate to see level 9 players. And uh, this guy is kind of undermaxed out in here. He's kind of weak. That's really sad. The Musketeer and the Mega Minion are going to do the job over there and he's good. He's just gonna put in the skeleton army, but the ghost is actually going to do every splash. How cool is that? Every splash for just three elixir. Fuck your walls. That's what I'm actually calling it. Card is. <laughs> so the musketeer is right up in here doing some great damage. That's really nice. A wonderful job from the musketeer. Uh, she is level six. She is pretty cool. Uh, cool all by herself. So. Again, we're gonna start over by defending, we're gonna put in the furnace, 2 minutes 9 seconds, we're actually gonna start over, oh my goodness, level 1 witch, how long has it been that I've actually seen a level 1 witch, and my fucking fireball being level 4 or level 5 cannot take down that witch, how poor is that, shit, man, come on, so we're actually gonna put in the ghost and continue the attack, and the ghost is actually gonna do the defending job, so, you probably should've put in the ghost, I don't know what I'm thinking about, okay, we put in the giant, that's really nice, so, <laughs> this guy actually puts in the musketeer, Oh uh, wow, oh my goodness, so the musketeer is actually going to pay some hard time actually doing some air splash, but then we actually are going to cope up with that, we're actually going to take down that wizard, we actually are going to take down that, uh, uh, what is that, the witch, oh shit, we couldn't, uh, we couldn't, it's just a miss, almost, could almost take that down, so we're actually going to put in the furnace for the hog rider, a uh, big problem for the hog rider there, just being level 4 isn't all good, so this guy pretty much is doing a really good battle right in here at if you probably could have actually come across a uh, uh, level 8 player, I think this guy would have actually won. To be honest, just see the fact that he's actually doing a really good job against me itself. Against the Royal Ghost! Come on, you're doing really good against the Royal Ghost. Then piss that off, you're really cool. <laughs> you're getting the point, right? The Royal Ghost, oh my goodness. If you're getting him, don't be sad for that. Be happy, just pray for God that you don't want anything in extra. Because he is really in fact cool. So <laughs> the Og Rider again being, uh, uh, what is that? Being changed in terms of direction. He couldn't actually come to us. Zitar. So 1600, 1500 right now. That's really nice. So we actually took down the first time. We actually should be going in for the second one. But then we're having a hard time defending it. So yeah, actually go in for the second tower. He's actually going to put in the wedge. We're actually going to put in the furnace. Then we're actually going to put in the mega minion. I should have actually put in the fireball and actually done some damage to that witch but the witch is actually gonna face some heat from the fireball and also is going to die from that balloon uh dead damage bullshit thing and it's really nice we're actually gonna defend right now and we pretty much made it we pretty much made it against this guy and we got three wins we got four wins to be honest we got one more uh being a really good replay as well but then that is it for now hopefully you enjoy that's how this deck actually works you guys that's how it actually is you can just see here now yeah, it's really cool all by itself, it's a really good deck, if you don't have the ghost I'm really sorry for that. Just see this guy's stats here, it's not that cool, but then 1100 hit points for a level 3 troop and being level 1, that's really nice. And thank you so much for watching, hopefully you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like if you did, and make sure to subscribe to the channel for like Clash of Clans or Clash Royale content every single day. Make sure you click on the bell notification icon to get so that you don't miss anything. And that's pretty much it, thank you so much for watching, I'm Mario Sam, see you next time on the day, goodbye.